Hi, in this video I'd like to present you what is uh, done so far about uh, firmware for a bench power supply that is programmable with skippy commands and with touchscreen local console. Uh, so let's start with just switching it on and see how it looks like. Uh, this is a main screen. It consists of four sections. First one which is currently uh, unpopulated it's on the top and it will contain some uh, uh, status messages or some <coughs> information about uh, current menu. Another one uh, it's uh, section for the first channel, second channel and on the on the bottom it's uh, various uh, entrance to menus. Uh, this tree it's currently disabled uh, because it's not implemented. This one uh, it's for general settings and this one it's for the uh, for the standby uh, <coughs> this the channel section it's uh, displays uh, four four things this one the big one uh, displays current status uh, of the output so the both channel is currently in off state. This is a programmed voltage, output voltage, and this is a programmed maximum current. So to start working or just to to output to make output on, it's simply you need to do this, and you can see that con constant voltage LED it's turned on this one is for the cust uh, con constant current and uh, depends on the load of course the channel will automatically switch from one mode of, oper of operation to another one this power supply uh, can be controlled by Arduino uh, Mega or Arduino Due MCU board and in this example we are using the faster one Arduino Due which is 32 bit if I put some load you can see that depends of course of settings for the voltage and current it's possible that output channel switch from con constant voltage to constant current as you can see this power supply doesn't have uh, encoder or analog potentiometers or digital potentiometers neither a keypad keypad the only input device it's touch screen and we are using the touch screen to set i believe in very efficient way uh, any of uh, output uh, values. So let's see how it looks like. To set voltage or current it's you just simply need to press and you will see one of the three possible mode of input. We are currently in a keypad mode uh, but we also have slider mode and step mode. So let's start with slider mode. In slider mode uh, we'll try to mimic uh, potentiometer but thanks to uh, touch screen which is actually two-dimensional uh, we used both directions both axes to to define output value and uh, so if we are going 
up and down you will just increase or decrease output value in this in this case it's a output voltage and it's not it's not the same if you are touching screen on the left or on the right so on the right we have very precise we can go with minimum step of 10 millivolts you can see this but if you want some some uh, bigger or faster changes we can go with the uh, leftmost or we can go with something in between uh, the point, important thing is that we uh, try to uh, to display all output values all the time so regardless of menu in which you are currently it's important to see what's going on on the output so I can put here you can see that in one moment will go from one mode in another and you can see that in real time what's going on on the output okay so this is the first mode operation this mode together with step mode have one additional possibility and that's uh, we call that uh, toggling between interaction interactive and non-interactive mode so slider it's now in an interactive mode that means that when you change output value it will be automatically set on the output another possibility is to go in a non-interactive mode when you can put another value but output value is it's remain uh, unchanged until you set it to some new desired value something like that and now it's here so this is uh, again a very precise adjustment or another extreme this model goes from 0 to 40 volt, uh, volts and 0 to 5 amperes per channel as you can see okay let's continue with another mode of, of operation it's a so-called step mode uh, <clears throat> it's very similar to, to slider uh, mode uh, or it's just a special case of slider mode where we have five predefined step value and each movement will change output value using that predefined let's say if I want to go with one volt I can go like this two volt or I can go with some smaller step again as in a slider mode it's a possible to use non-interactive mode so let's go that I want to go to 25 volts from currently 15 I just need to press enter and now it's here or go to another direction and you can see here okay and the latest one 
it's a keypad. In keypad mode, you just simply enter what you want. Or you can go with, let's say, with millivolts. It will be rounded to 10. Okay. So, with the three mode, we believe that it's possible to to set in very efficient way during operation voltage or output voltage or uh, current of output this is a uh, possibly how it looks for for the current although like this we can go a smaller step each movement means one step. Again, we can go in interactive mode. Then you can see that Nuvelo it's blinked just for better indication that it's still not activated. Okay. And this is all for this presentation. We can just go in the standby until next time where I show some more things for the same device. Thank you for your attention.